Alright, hey, uh, what is going on guys? This is Dean, and uh, if you've been watching some of the tracks that have been going up on this channel lately, I'm the owner and composer on this channel, basically. This video today is a bit different, uh, it's not going to be a track, it's going to be a new series I'm hopefully going to start in this channel called Let's Compose. Uh, many composers do this on YouTube, um, so I'm basically going to uh, try to start doing it myself. Um, the idea behind it is basically just to keep myself composing more. I want to try to compose as much as I can and if I can pass any tips and tricks and knowledge down to people that are watching along the way well then that's just more of a bonus basically. There is some great composers on YouTube to watch that could teach you probably a lot more than me because I'm only young, I'm only 20, I'm going into my final year of university this year so I'm still learning loads as well but I can try to teach something along the way. Um, most of these videos I think will be done in Sibelius, which is the uh, window you can see in front of you. Um, I will do one or two videos on the other program called Logic Pro, uh, which is another program to compose music on, because they're the two main programs that I use. Um, but for these first few episodes, I think I'll use Sibelius, just because it's quite straightforward. Um, you can see everything that's going on in front of you without any complicated sort of mixing and mastering and behind the scenes type things and also if anyone doesn't understand music too much well then they can see it being wrote out in front of them and different things like that so uh, I think it'd be quite entertaining just to do it on Sibelius for now um, what I think I'm going to do for this first few episodes is I'm going to try to work on a piano solo piece um, and I might end up submitting it for a university assignment next year when I go back to college in September. I'm not sure uh, if I am allowed to do that. I probably I would be allowed to do it, but I'm not sure if it would be good enough to submit or not. Um, so that would be the idea. It's not going to be a long piece or anything like that. It's just going to be nice and short. Just so I can try to get the series rolling a bit and see how people react to it, basically. Um. If anyone has any comments about this series or how can I improve things and what I should change or what not to change, uh, do leave comments because everything is learning for me, so any comments will help on positives or negatives. So uh, this video isn't going to be long and to be honest I don't think I will even compose fully in this video. It's probably just got to be starting off really more than anything else and just getting everything set up. And basically introducing the series and then in episode 2 uh, I'll actually start composing the piece so uh, as I said I'm probably gonna do a piano solo so I'll find that here Um, this piece is going to be a 12 tone piece Um, if anyone that is familiar with uh, music history they will more likely know what that is um, my university really focuses on contemporary music, contemporary classical style of music, and a 12 tone piece is a contemporary style uh, created by the composer Arnold Schoenberg. And basically, you take 12 tones, 12 pitches, and they are the only 12 pitches you can use on the piece. Now, the row is not a 12 tone row, also, so the row can be, it can be changed, but in order to be changed, it ha every note has to be played at least once in order starting from the fourth tone up to the twelfth so all those tones have to be played in order once the tones are played in order you can then move the row around you can uh, play it backwards you can pl start on different notes and then do the row uh, the note lengths can be different all different things like that so then your your composition your piece can open up a bit more but um that's the way the piece has to start off with all 12 of those notes basically so I think that's basically the idea behind this episode we'll start up a project and then basically get a row and then after that uh, actually start composing so the sounds I'm not sure the sounds might not be too good I'm using OBS to record this but it's basically picking up my only uh, my Mac mic and there's no audio, the audio that's got to come out of the Mac is just got to come back through the mic, through the external speaker, so I'm not sure how good the audio is actually going to be, uh, hopefully it's okay, but I'll review the videos and I'll get people's opinions on it and then I can look 
at something in the future to hopefully improve the audio a bit more. If anyone knows any programs that can record desktop audio within the actual computer itself, uh, leave it in the comments because it will help out a lot. Uh, so let's start off this row. Um, my composition process can be very tedious at times, like really tedious. A lot of composition can be very tedious for anyone. There's a lot of swapping and changing and going back and forth and it can be grueling at times but it feels very rewarding when you actually finish a piece. But I'm not gonna lie, my composition process can also be very spontaneous and random and it might not seem like I know what I'm doing sometimes. And sometimes I actually don't and I just stumble across a good idea. So this row I have no idea what I should have picked for this row, so I'm just gonna pick a random row really to do. So uh, We'll start on C and let's build up this row. Uh, I won't talk while building up this row. I'm just going to think of the notes and so I can actually hear the sound of each note coming out as well. So there we go, there is the row that I've decided to go with. Uh, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G sharp, B, C, C sharp, E natural, uh, F natural, G natural, and A sharp. So things like this can be very awkward to perform for performance sometimes because the accidentals can constantly change. Like you, you have a flat there at one point in the piece, then there's also four sharps in this row and to be natural strung in and out as well so it's not the easiest of rows like it's, it's just not the easiest of things to perform but it is doable uh, and this isn't the most complex row either for accidentals either and you can also change how the notes are spelt with accidentals i could harmonically spell that as a b flat because that's what it actually is but when you're doing this style of music you tend to keep the accidentals the way they actually are and just to fit the actual row to keep the form and structure of it so uh, let's listen to what the row sounds like in full So overall it actually isn't that dissonant and it's actually not too bad of a row so this piece actually might not sound too dissonant and too harsh because a lot of pieces can actually sound very dissonant when doing contemporary 12 tone music but I'm going to try to aim and not have it that way. So uh, that's the row and that's going to be actually the end of this video. Uh, the next video I will take this row and we'll spread it out into hopefully a couple of bars and keep the episodes going from there. Uh, this is basically is serious so I can keep uploading on the channel, keep the channel active. So because it's very hard to constantly produce tracks and upload tracks the way I have been because they take time. Where videos like this will give me a reason to compose and compose new tracks and keep me interacting on the channel. So if anyone has any comments to leave down below please do negative or positive about this series. And uh, if you like the video leave a like. Share the channel around if you want and uh, please do subscribe as well. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.